Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> Ooh, this is very good. A first timer. So again, there's so many artists we yet to discover from this wonderful industry, the indie music industry. But Papong or Papong, it's one of the ones that's been getting requested lately. And also Mona Monali. Monali. Takur. Um she's like one of these really prevalent female vocalists in the you know in the music in the music industry there in India. And look at this setup. Look yeah, at this, this beautiful is, setup. This is live and it's a collaboration. So perhaps let us know, you know, uh, if you'd like us to check out more of their work, mm -hmm. um, solo work and be more than happy. But I I love this setting because it's obviously live and look, it has a cajon, you have a guitarist, you also have a, a double bass. Is that a cello? No. Uh, is it is it is that, I think it's a double bass. Double bass, right? Yeah. Well he yeah, he's definitely because he doesn't have the. He's picking it. Yeah, he's okay. picking. Okay, let's give it a watch. It. All right. Oh. I'm sorry, but that that beautifully equalized some, sound. Some of you said that we should check out the MTV Unplugged. Uh, yes. The thing is, the MTV Unplugged one doesn't have a video. It's just the audio. Yes. So if you would like us to check that out, I'm more than happy to. But I'd love to see the one with the video. That's why we went with this one. But mm -hmm. go on. Um, okay, yes. Where'd you come from? <laughs> uh. <laughs> so I would imagine all these guys that we just saw are like actors? Yes. Right? Uh, uh, it's yeah. It's like an acting I, show? It looks like one of those award shows for, like, the best acting role for drama series. Right, right. Yeah, go on. It's like the Golden Globes Award, but of, of India. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go. <laughs> Peach is beautiful. And this kind of setup is also really, it reminds me a lot of like, again, not to make the comparison of different industries, but it really does remind me a lot of some of my favorite performances from the Spanish music industry. Yes. This is that type of setup you see, yes. two guitars, maybe not a, a, a double, double bass. bass. Um, you'd probably get a more traditional bass. Uh, bass. But definitely if the minor percussion. Yeah, yeah, but this reminds me a lot of that. And that kind of communication, they have that lovely interaction. Is yes, uh, you can also see there's a really organic environment for them. They feel very at home, very at ease in this in this yeah. preci uh, precise stage. Also love the way that this has been equalized. Brilliant. It feels like it's actual studio made. It's really nicely done. She's really pretty there. Oh, Jesus. Pinnacle voice right in the industry. You it's see that it's very, very delicate though, because given the suspensions in which we are hearing the, the singing phrase, right? The you wouldn't think the utilization of that twang would aid that suspense, but it's obviously pinnacle yeah. in the female voices in the music true, industry, true. right? In the Indian music industry. But in the male case, it's completely different. They're more cacophonic, mm. less twangy. They actually find resonance within, which is very, very, very pe peculiar. How do the men learn to sing and how do women? It's because completely it's different, completely yeah. different uh, technical approaches. <laughs> also love the, the Hispanic Influence. guitar influences. I have to say, she's very fucking good looking. She's great. She's very charming too. See, I mean, oh. come on, that guitar. Mm. Sir! Oh, that is so beautiful. Woo! Pull it back, pull it back. It's interesting, right? Like, go back again. Mm. 
Yeah, those are such Hispanic arrangements. They are. They're very flamenco-ish. What the fuck? Very flamenco-influenced, for sure. Ooh, handsome. <laughs> I'm sorry, but does everybody here, you're just like... Pitch, like picture perfect. They have all the a lot time? of attractive people, especially in the in the industry. I mean, I I don't really know that many like uh, people that are from India. The women, yeah. the men, <laughs> the eyebrows—they're perfect. They're like yeah. okay. I mean, here, yes. here in London, you do get like uh, you you do get a really vast. Uh, what would you call it? Is is there a very big Indian com- community here in London for sure? Oh yeah, not not just India. I was gonna say a vast. What would you call it? Different cultures, different races. Oh, yeah. Um, also bad all the time right so India is one of them um, but yeah I've never really paid that much attention me neither I think <laughs> the more we dive into the Bollywood uh, side of, of the Indian entertainment industry the more I realize that all of these actors and actresses are like freaking uh, they're really attractive right? yeah. <laughs> I think also like you are seeing the most beautiful people out of a country right because these are like the Miss Universes or Miss Miss Worlds and stuff, and they're also like actresses and things. Ever, but they they film full on movies with no makeup on. Like right. these women have like perfect skin, and yeah. they're naturally that God gifted. <laughs> like, yeah, it could literally be like, like if you go crazy. to India, like everyone's just like one of the places like that is not to be biased, but like if like Latin America is one of those places. That's yes. a continent. Yes. Where. It does, depend on the, it does depend on the country, but on, on an average, it, it's certainly like you go to Puerto Rico, you go to go Venezuela, to Brazil. go to Brazil, go you to Colombia. Get and they have such a range of different beauties. But the average woman, it's attractive. Naturally. Naturally attractive, yeah, yeah. 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 I agree. Yeah, those are very flamenco arrangements. Oh, I love a China. Oh God, really? I like your voice a lot. I like his. It is hard though because she's like a pop singer. I don't know. I qualifies that? I know that I googled him though. He is a he's known for being an Indian playback singer. I ah, see for movies and stuff. For movies, right. yes, yes, yes. I don't know about her. That is so hard. Boss, really fast. I just want to see what symbols he's got. Go left. Press play. You can't really two. see them. But he definitely has a China. I mean, I'm not tripping when I... When if anyone can clarify it, that in yeah. the comments. I was a fucking China. Go on, press I think play. so. I can't see. I'm kind of blind. Beautiful cajon. See? Oh, maybe the drummer. There's a drummer here. That's what it is. What? There's a drummer here, maybe. The, or, I don't press know. Play. Ah, it was just a splash. Ah, right. Oh, look at Priyanka. Is that that girl that we like? Yeah, Priyanka. No, no, that's that's Nick Jonas's. That's Nick Jonas's wife. Yes. Fuck you know. Priyanka Chopra, but she is in that. She is with Padukone. What's her name? Um. What are you talking about? In the movie that we want to check out, Bajirao Mastani. Bajirao Mastani. Mastani. Oh, she her. She's the companion. Okay, okay. Yeah, she is the wife of the king. Right, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. So you do are correct. Let's you're go. correct. You're correct. <laughs> Projection, the light show. Beautiful. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> hey. he, he, he is basically. Oh gosh. Sorry, that was really loud. Who is he? Um, he is um. Composer. Pritam. That's said, Pritam. That's Pritam. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, look, can we recognizing on this? That's people? awesome. <laughs> We're trying well, to. Well, again, uh, I, I'd like to f- know more about their music. Um, yes. She certainly has that, you know, pinnacle, really popular voice uh, in in the industry. Mm-hmm. Um, but, They're but, very rich. 
But Papone is certainly very intriguing. Also, I don't know whose who's, uh, composition this is, because given the musical influences and the obvious performance, uh, which is quite outstanding, the performance which is obvious, which is obviously quite outstanding. Um, <laughs> I'd you, like to know more about them. Yeah, I would love to know if the original song per se has a lot of um, Spanish influences, like we heard in this particular version. Given the fact that you're using two classical guitars and a, 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 a cajon, which is it's a, is very predominant in the flamenco music industry yeah. overall. Let us know more about it. This was awesome. Also, though. if you, as I always say, if you'd like to support the podcast and reviews like this, you can do so by purchasing mer merchandise uh, at fitcherfridaystore.com. We have limited edition at the moment. Uh, if you're watching this in February, uh, if, at the end of February, it's no longer going to be available ever again. So do make sure you check out fitcherfridaystore.com. And there's phone cases, there's tote bags, there's hoodies. Just make sure you check it out. And uh, it means the world to us. As already, shout out to everyone already getting it. And apart from that, guys, goodbye. <laughs>